Morning. It is day five, FCF, in our journey where we're looking at portions of Scripture where Jesus declares things about Himself. Most of them have the term I am in there. So I'm going to read today from John chapter 11, and we're going to start in verse 25 and 26. Jesus said to her, He's talking to Martha, dear friend of His, Martha and Mary, but He's talking just to Martha here. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, whenever you see the word believe, it means trust in. He who believes in me, trusts in me, will live even though he dies. And whoever lives and believes or trusts in me will never die. Do you believe this? He says to her. Verse 27, Yes, Lord, she told him, I believe that you are the Christ or the Messiah, the Son of God who was to come into the world. Now, let me give you some context to this. Jesus was dear friends with Martha, Mary, and their brother Lazarus. And Lazarus had become extremely ill, and he died. Jesus got news four days earlier that he died, but he deliberately hesitated. He, he didn't go. He, he let Lazarus die. Well, by the time they get there, Lazarus has been in the tomb now for four days. And Martha and Mary are greatly distraught because they knew that Jesus had raised others from the dead and they knew that He had healed people of every uh, disease. So they were distraught because He wasn't there to save their brother. Now what happens if you read on in this portion of Scripture, Jesus indeed raises Lazarus from the dead. He literally comes out still wrapped up in the burial gauze all, all around His body. It's an extraordinary scene. But the thing that Jesus declared about Himself here is more important. So let me zero back in on it. He says, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in Me will live even though he dies, and whoever lives and believes in Me will never die. Do you believe this? Now Jesus is not saying that resurrection from the dead is just something that He gives. He's saying it's something that He is. That those that are connected to Him in trust, they can't be destroyed. He, he is vitally connected with them. His life permeates through them. And He says, listen, even if you physically die and believe in Me, you'll continue to live. And He says, Martha, do you believe this? We have this uh, re-emphasized us in the uh, further passages in the New Testament. Second Corinthians, the Apostle Paul says in chapter 5, verse 10, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. In Philippians 1, 20-21, Paul says you know, that he, he was torn between the two of um, departing and being with Christ or to stay on and serve in uh, meaningful work for the Lord. So we have taught in Scripture uh, that the instant our physical body goes unconscious in death, there is no unconscious state in between. We are immediately, we, we, we never go unconscious. It's just that our spirits, our souls, leave our body, go into the presence of the Lord's spiritual dimension. And that's why Jesus said, He is the resurrection. Those that are connected with Him in trust, we always will live. Uh, eternal life is a reality, and it goes past physical death. So it's a wonderful promise we have here. And then Jesus illustrates it. Like I say, He, he ends up calling Lazarus forth, and poor Lazarus, He, he comes out of there, all wrapped up in gauze and probably not smelling so great because it had been four days. Just a little thing. The Jews had a belief that your spirit hovered around your body for the first three days of physical death. But on the fourth day, it was, it was gone. It was too late, which is probably why Jesus waited for the fourth day to show that that was not true and that He's the resurrection. He can call those back to life that belong to Him any way, any time that He chooses. We have a life, folks, that goes way, way beyond this life. God's got literally all the time in the world to teach people like you and I. And I, for one, am one that He's going to need a lot of time teaching. Thank you.